Okay, welcome. I'm going to quickly, hopefully, walk through my latest app called Keys to Text Proxy, which allows you, as you can see there in the graphic on the left, it says the word Novel Crafter. That's another online app for like a writing tool, write novels and whatever. And you can see that the purpose of the app is, in this case, is to go from Novel Crafter into Keys to Text Proxy, and it'll pick up all your keys here, as the little demon's doing, and open these various doors for you, which can be OpenAI, Google, Gemini, Anthropic, Claude, Grok, DeepSeek, and Open Router, as well as, completely locally, Olama and LM Studio, these little gingerbread houses. So let's go to Novel Crafter and see it in action. Okay, here we go. You would come to Novel Crafter like usual, pick one of your books or whatever you're working on. And I tend to collapse this and go to chat right away. And then over here in the lower left, which hopefully shows up, is your account. You go to AI Connections and of this list, the only one that I can figure out that works properly for keys to text proxy is LM Studio. So I'll just uh, rename it Y2T because you should also be able to have LM Studio in addition to this. Just make another one of these. And instead of localhost, I do 127.0.0.1 because I think it works better, but I might be wrong. As soon as I tab off, you're going to see a list of models come up. 319 models. Pretty cool. Also, in a tip is down here where it says use file names instead of full path for models. Don't check this because it'll break. It really needs to know which provider to use and for what model. Sometimes it'll get it right, but I would definitely uncheck that if it's checked so that it works and goes to the correct provider with that model that you want because they do have names in common between these providers. So let's refresh, especially open router because I think it has everything. So we'll close this and then we come back to chat. So let's try the streaming version of this first and we'll look at our prompt workshop chat. We're gonna wanna change it or keep it the same, but just to show you that they're all there. I'm going to select that one because I kind of like it for day-to-day -day things. Then we'll go back to chat, and you got to make sure that you select it up here. It defaults to that for some reason. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's free. I'm not sure. And let's just say hello to see if it's working. And Grok is very fast, as you can tell. So that's streaming, and it's working. That's good. Now let's go to our book and say we want to redo our summary for Chapter 1. This is not streaming. At least the last time I checked, it's not streaming. And you can tell sometimes because it'll spin around for a while trying to get to the answer. I'm not sure why this gets that treatment. It's almost like I gotta go pick it again, which I don't think I should have to do, but that's fine for now. So I'll pick the same one and look at that answer. It's like, bam. Chapter one is not that long, about 816 words. So there you go, streaming, non-streaming. I mostly use it over here. And that's kind of the end of this demo. I'll show you where you can get it. Uh, it's from my website, which is slipthetrap.com. And it's right in, in here with keys to text chat, which is still available. It does pretty much this, but it's just about chatting and the same similar setup, but it's got a GUI. And you can see here it's, it's talking about this is meant to be used alongside Novel Crafter, which is why I did it. And then that's the GitHub page, which is over here which has more information, explains how to install it, 
and which models it can be used with and all that kind of stuff. Somewhere in here, it'll explain how to set up your keys, I think. Yeah, right around in here. So that is it. Let me get out. Yep. And let me bring back up that picture again. And with that, I hope you enjoy it. And before I go, the main reason, the only reason I did this really was to get a big text file of an entire conversation, which no one offers. The only place I've seen it's on DuckDuckGo, and I'm not really into DuckDuckGo. But other than that, this is what I wanted it for. Now I can see it can be enhanced in the future to do a bit more, like maybe some NER name entity recognition. That'd be cool. But for now, I just want that big text file where you got a me and an AI paired up. And did I show that? If I did not show that, well, let me go show that real fast. I get that out of the way. Screen will go black. And then you'll see it's running on a terminal on a Mac or command line. And I'm just going to use control C to end it. And then we're going to LS, of course, on, uh, I guess it'd be dir on a Windows. And you see we got two chats, that last one being the biggest one, or is that an earlier one? No. We want to cat chat. Uh, 13.5. I'm using cat because I don't have an editor on this machine, old iMac. And I'm going to hit enter. And all that stuff's going to scroll by. That's the contents of the file starting right here where we did the command. Chat history for session starting Friday at 1.55 p.m. It's got a me. Okay. Uh, and you'll see we said hello, if you remember. And then we got the AI's response. And it goes on like that. Me, AI, me, AI. And that might be a tad annoying, but you could probably find and replace in an editor and get rid of the me's and the AI's. Or, or whatever you want to do. But at least you have the entire conversation. Whatever came from Novel Crafter, whatever came from the AI. And that's what I was after all this time. So I had to write it myself to get it. And let's go back to where were we? Let's just put the picture up. So now I can end this. So with that, I will say peace.